So in class on Friday, we'll be solving uh, exponential equations, which are equations that have the variable in the exponent, which is similar to radical equations in the sense that they have the variable in the radical, only these are in the exponents. We do have to check for extraneous solutions as well, uh, but this is known as an example with a common base. You'll notice that they both share the base of 3, and uh, the question is what value will satisfy this equation so that we have the same outcome? And well, 3 to the third is going to be 27, so we're looking for the appropriate value to plug in for x in order to make the exponents the same so that 3 to the same power will be the same thing. So really, we might as well just answer the question, uh, what is 3, uh, 3, uh, what will 3 equals x plus 2 generate for a value for x? So if we were to solve this equation, we would get that x is equal to 1. And if we test that, 3 to the third should be equal to 3 to the 2, uh, 1 plus 2. and we get 27 equals 27. We didn't even need to do that. Just the fact that we're going to have 3 to the 3rd and 3 to the 3rd should be more than enough information to prove that. So really, what we're trying to do is once we have a common base, we can just set the exponents equal to each other and solve. Uh, if we look at the second example here, these have an uncommon base. The base of the first example is 2, and the second example, I'm sorry, is 8, and the second example is 2. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to make a common base. And the way we're going to do that is using the prime factorization. 8 is equal to 2 times 4. 2 is a prime number, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, which are both prime numbers. So we can rewrite 8 to the x power as uh, 2 to the third power, and there's still an x here. Now by the power rule of exponents, we can rewrite this as 2 to the 3x is equal to, uh, equal to 2 to the 4x plus 5, and now we can set the exponents equal to each other. So we've found a common base of 2, which changed the exponent, and now we can solve for the exponent like we did a moment ago. So 3x is equal to 4x plus 5. We should get that um, x is equal to negative 5. And we could plug that in and check how that works. Um, we will get, uh, in the original problem, 8. Well, we really have to check it in the second example because we're trying to confirm that the exponents are the same. So 3 to the, so 2 to the, ne, uh, 3 to the negative, 2 to the power of 3 times negative 5 should be equal to 2 to the power of 4 uh, times negative 5 plus 5. So we should get negative 15 equals negative 15. All right, so let's try one more example. It's a little more complicated. It's only more complicated because of the base that they have. Uh, 7,776 divided by 2. I'll have to use a calculator to make sure I don't make any mistakes. 7,776 divided by 2 is 3,888. Divide by 2 again, get uh, 1,944. We'll do that again get 972 and 2, do it again, and get 486 and 2, and we do it again, and get 2 and 243, which is not divisible by 2, so we'll have to start dividing by 3, and we get uh, 3 and 81, 81 is going to be equal to 3 and 27. And 27 is going to be equal to 3 and 9. And 9 is going to be equal to 3 and 3. So this number is actually equal to 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 twos and 1, 2, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 threes. So this is 2 to the fifth and 3 to the 5th, um, which is actually equal to 6 to the 5th, because 2 times 3, 5 times is going to be 6, uh, and there's 5 of those. So this is the reason this problem is a little more uh, difficult, is because 6 is the base, and you'll notice because 6 wasn't a uh, prime number, we spent a little bit more time on it than we would have normally. Now that we know that 6 is the common base, we'll be able to do that a little quicker for 
216. So 216 um, divided by 6 is 36. So it's 6 and 36. This is going to be uh, 6 and 6. And we'll just end with 6s. So this will become uh, 6 to the 3rd to the x minus 5. Um, so this will be equal to 6 um, to the 3rd x minus 5. And now we're going to distribute to the exponents. So this will become 6 to the 5x plus 5. Keep in mind there's like a parenthesis around these exponents is equal to 6 to the 3x minus 15. And now we can solve for the exponents. So 5x plus 5 should be equal to 3x minus 15. So that would mean 2x is equal to uh, negative 20 or x is equal to negative 10. So that is our exponent. We can plug it in and make sure that the exponents simplify to be the same number in the first example where we actually have the common base, but we can't really do it before then.